What's up guys, welcome to the Europe Tour Vlog. Already so much has happened. The YouTube channel hit nine million subscribers. I can't believe it, thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel. We had over 400 dancers in the class in Amsterdam. <laughs> Now we're in Germany. Today we came to Fantasia Land. I have no idea what's here. All right, so we found a roller coaster now. It's like a cute little train. Probably like a nice, easy one to start. I mean. Oh, Where are we? Oh, <laughs> this is literally the best ride ever. You have to pull yourself up the roller coaster. If you don't get to the top first, you're walking back to America. <laughs> oh, he's off. Gang, 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 gang. That's my bitch. <laughs> Let's go. Team Steph, we don't take no L's. You know what I mean? L's. L's. Take an L. L. Take an L as you walk away. Else. They took all the L's. Oh, sh <laughs> Oh, no. What happened to you, girl? Mama fell you asleep. You fell asleep on your squirt gun. Today off! That's not taking off! Stop! Now for our favorite ride of all. You were late on your beer drink. Try again. We talked about this. I started the roller coaster, so they think that's our favorite ride, and then I panned out, and then we drank the beer, remember? It's called acting. 20 minutes later. Roller coaster and. Cheers! We did it! Acting! We're out here in Cologne, Germany, my first time teaching me. And Natasha here said that she was gonna bring me two bottles of champagne. Ooh. Turn up! You're the best. I know. <laughs> Pop champagne, whoa. Oh, bitch! <laughs> two. We're at the hotel in London and it's really nice. There's just one problem um, the shower is kind of see through. I can see your balls. No, you I swear to God, I can see your balls. You told me you couldn't see. Oh, I didn't know you were gonna put them so close to the window. Oh my God, I'm scarred for life. I swear to God, you can see. No, yeah. I don't believe you. No. I'm gonna prove it to you here. Can you see this? No. <laughs> oh my God, my. Those were your balls. Dubai and we're gonna do something today that I've wanted to do for a long time but I've honestly have just been scared to try it here's a little hint what do my shorts say do they say sit man no nope. sleep man no nope. mat my man what are we doing today apparently uh, we're gonna jump out of a plane you ready I don't really have a choice 
voice at this point. I know, right? right? You remember everything Luna told you. What? Hold the thing. <laughs> Banana. Banana. <laughs> yeah. Anything for your friends and family, maybe fans. Hopefully, I get to release this video. I uh, love you guys. Crazy fun. Want to do it again? Yeah, can we go again? <laughs> right now? Skydiving was cool, but why stop there? We're now at the largest, fastest zip line in the entire world. <laughs> there Rate this look. Basically what's gonna happen is right now we're standing on top of a mountain. They're gonna push us that way. Oh sweet baby Jesus. They're about to just throw them off the cliff like this. Bye bitch! Yasmin, this is gonna be me and you in a second. Are you excited? Very. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You did it, you did it, you I did know, it. I'm so proud. No, look at my camera. This is more important. So we're out to a little breakfast right now. What's up, squad? Looks like we've got some food. Just a couple things. Mostly cheese. Cheese? Yeah. Cheese, yeah. Cheese, uh huh. Cheese, cheese, yeah. Cheese, oh. Cheese, cheese, oh. cheese, cheese. These two guys have literally been doing an Instagram photo shoot all day. Yeah, bro, make me look good. <laughs> Bro, I can't make you look good. Bro, stay right there. Oh, low angle. Oh, check your watch. Oh, you're not wearing one. Oh, oh, hey, say you what? Nobody there. Okay. The glasses hold. Uh-huh. Do we have approval? Chances are no, because we've been doing this for a fucking hour. Can we move on with our day? No, we can't. You take the sunglasses. No, you take the sunglasses. No, they look better on me. Six and a half hours later. And are we done now? Because I'm running out of storage on my phone. Alright, alright, alright. Fine, fine. I'll show them how it's done. Take watch. Take watch. Grab the sunglasses. Look at the pretty girls. They're on her. of greatness and out to dinner at the official Salt Bay restaurant. Apparently they're gonna teach me how to properly eat a steak right now.
You guys, this is the biggest workshop on the entire tour. sit down and talk to you guys. I don't do that very often, but I feel like it's important once in a while because I learn so much from these tours and I, I learn what you guys are struggling with. I hear your stories and the thing that I want more than anything, the reason I created this channel and, and a tutorial channel is to help you guys succeed, to help you get past the hurdles that I faced when I was first starting out because as a lot of you guys know, I started dancing when I was in a small town and there were no hip hop classes, like I couldn't go take a class. And I was like, how do I learn? I, I wanna learn how to dance, it looks so cool, these music videos are amazing. And so I started to, to save up money and I would save money and I would drive hours and hours and hours just to go take one class with a choreographer that I looked up to and then I'd come back to my town and I'd practice that routine for months and I'd try to choreograph my own stuff and I'd hate it and I'd try to teach a class and nobody would show up and I audition for a dance crew and I get cut and so often when you look at social media and YouTube now, it's easy to see like millions of views and subscribers and followers, all this stuff and touring the world like, oh yeah, it must have, must have be nice or it must have come easy for him and the reason I'm saying all this is to remind you guys that one, you're not alone. Anything that you're going through, doubting yourself, I still doubt myself every day I have thoughts that come up. Uh, that piece wasn't that good. Nah, the way you danced that was a little off. I'm still doubting myself, right? That's human nature. What we have to do is find ways that when our energy or our mood or our spirit dips down, instead of letting it stay down here, we have to find ways to bring it back up by being open to failing in order to open a door to succeed. Like, one of the things that I tell you guys at the end of class a lot of times is, Put yourself in a position that makes you a little bit uncomfortable. Like, say you're scared to come take my workshop because the choreography might be too hard, you don't wanna be embarrassed, right? You're scared of failing, so you're not putting yourself in a position to fail, but by doing that, you're not giving yourself the opportunity to succeed. You're not opening a door, there, there's no chance for you to get there. You have to take a little bit of a risk. And one of the ways that we can help each other do this, because remember, Dance is not, it's not a solo sport. And it's not even really a team sport. It's a community sport. The difference is, if I'm on a team, it's my team versus all your teams. Whether that's a studio or a dance crew or anything like that. And we have that, competition is good, it's healthy. But at the end of the day, if you drop all those barriers and you put a bunch of people that love to dance in a room and you put a song on, everybody's just gonna have fun and support each other and love each other. There will be no boundaries, no hate, right? That's the core of what dance is. That's why I love to dance, that's why I love to teach because when I come in a room and there's 500 of you guys and you're all from different studios, different cities, different countries, different dance styles, backgrounds, nobody cares. Nobody cares. You do the choreography great, awesome. You mess up the whole routine, who cares? Did you have a good time? Did you learn something? Did you leave? feeling better about yourself. That's what I care about as a teacher. I, I can teach you dance steps. I hope I teach you how to dance, but I hope more than anything, when you watch my videos, when you watch my tutorials, when you come to the class, you leave feeling more empowered than when you walked into the room because that carries over past dance. When you have confidence in your abilities to pursue something, to achieve something, then you can do anything and you can learn that through dance. So one of the things I encourage you guys to do when you come to my class is at the end of it, when you're leaving, getting your stuff, talking to your friends, find somebody in that class that inspired you in some way, made you feel something when you watched them. Maybe they just were having a really good time and that made you have a better time in class. Maybe they hyped you up on the side. Maybe they're a really incredible dancer and you've never seen them before. And go tell them that. Like, don't, don't, you don't have to be fake and make something up, but if you honestly felt something positive from somebody, 
go and tell them that. Because you never know how that can change somebody's day or even their life. Like, honestly, it's easy to be like, oh, that person's such a dope dancer. They probably hear all the time that, you know, they're great, whatever. I can't tell you how many amazing dancers I know that have bad days where they're down on themselves and hearing somebody that they don't know, a stranger, be like, yo, I've never seen you before, but I just wanted to tell you like the way that you like make choices, your movement, whatever it is, like it really inspired me. Like I just had a lot of fun watching you and like it made me want to push harder in class. That is such a powerful thing to just spread a little bit of love for no reason. You're not expecting anything in return. I don't want you to hire me on a job. I don't expect you to shout me out on Twitter. Like, I'm, I'm just telling you, hey, you're dope. I think you did a great job today. Like, you inspired me. Cool. If we all do that a little bit more often in our dance community, in our community outside of dance, in our world, those are the type of small changes that change an entire situation. And so, I encourage you guys, wherever you are, like, Go support each other. Like you might not be on the same crew, the same team. None of that matters. Like we're all dancers. We're all doing this because we love to dance. And I want to see you guys succeed. That's why I'm still making tutorials. That's why I put in so many hours is because I know what it's like to be in your shoes, to love to dance, to have a passion, and to feel like it's a long journey to get there. Maybe not have all the steps quite ironed out and not know exactly what to do. I'm here, like I'm gonna do whatever I can to help you guys get there. But I think this has been more than enough talking. If you guys made it to the end of this part, then you're really a real one. Go comment actually down below. Comment, I made it to the end so that I know. I'm gonna read the comments to see if anybody actually did. Probably gonna be like one person, but I will love that one person for making it to the end. Um, I appreciate you guys so much and I'll be back with some new dudes real, real soon. Hey, dude. My face is on your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. And do you want some water? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>